Hi everyone, my name is Zubi Onta. I am the founder and CEO of thinkandzoom.com. My background is in software engineering. I hold a Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering from the University of Illinois at Chicago. Back in my undergrad days, I had the opportunity of working for Fortune 500 companies like Lucent Alcatel, as well as Goldman Sachs and Company. And for the past 11 years, I've been at IBM in Austin, Texas, where I've been tasked with resolving critical technical situation problems for customers like NASA, Boeing, Bloomberg, the White House, just to mention a few. Now, what is my primary area of research? Good question. I am very interested in the study of visual impairment, specifically low vision. My goal is to help people who have low vision to see better in as convenient a manner as possible. That is the reason why I came up with Think and Zoom, which I feel offers the user the best experience possible in that it is now possible to have hands-free visual magnification powered simply by your brain waves. You can now look, think, and see better. No more need for cords or buttons or remote controls. No more need for handhelds or manually operated devices to help you see better. Someone with low vision can now see better, just like someone without low vision. It's all about giving the user the best experience possible. It's all about looking at humanity and trying to make life as convenient and as easy as possible and making life better. How are African countries using tech and healthcare? I know of a few African startups that are making strides in making lives easy for Africans in the area of healthcare. Take Ajo, for instance, out of Lagos, Nigeria. Their goal is to simplify healthcare management and records. Currently, this is still a very manual and paper intensive area where patient records are still living in paper files and folders and filing cabinets. They are trying to create a cloud-based system to simplify health care management records. Also in pedigree, this is out of Ghana. They are also doing something very impressive. If you know anything about medication in the African continent, there's a huge problem with counterfeits. And pedigree's solution is how to use simple smartphone app to detect a counterfeit medication. This will save millions of lives. And also, there are other non-directly health-linked solutions that I've come across. Out of Uganda, a very impressive young man by the name of Power has figured out how he can eradicate mosquitoes from an entire village. His research led him to figure out that mosquitoes do not like ultrasound frequency. So he's now developing a system that can beam ultrasound over an entire village and eradicate mosquitoes. I think that's impressive because that will cut down the number of deaths from malaria, that will cut down the number of people drinking chloroquine medication, and also improve the health and the lives of people in Uganda and also across the continent. Or you can take Cameroon, where Surge is working on a water filtration method using UV light to eradicate all kinds of bacteria in water. Now, what will be the result of that? That will eliminate waterborne diseases, which we know is a huge problem for the continent. So these are a few examples that I know of, of how African countries are using tech to solve health problems. My presentation will be under healthcare possibilities and I'll be trying to talk about or rather answer the future of healthcare. My aim is to inform the audience 
of some of the impressive cutting edge technologies that are available to us today. Some coming out of EEG, electroencephalogram, and some also in medical imaging. And also to inform the audience that I feel strongly that Africa and Africans, both in Africa and in the diaspora, are also part of the conversation if you want to answer the question, the future of healthcare. In EEG, Think and Zoom is based on EEG. EEG allows you to read brain waves. Think and Zoom uses focus part of brain waves in performing visual magnification and offering hands-free visual magnification to visually impaired people. Spanning out of that is also the Anyam software. The Anyam software is a research software dedicated to the study of visual impairment. This is the first of its kind. Under this platform, the first app has rolled out and is now available in the App Store. This is called the Kenti game. This is a hands-free, single-user iOS game that you can use an EEG reader to play. This is how we plan to help people train themselves in using their focus. Also, in conjunction with Infinite Loop, we are proposing to start making Think Robots. This will be EEG controlled robots that will help people with mobility impairment or people with motor neural function impairment like ALS patients who do not have the ability to control voluntary actions in their body like speaking or eating. So this think robots will use EEG to control robots to take on actions that humans can no longer take on. Now why is it important for people to attend the summit or listen to my presentation? I feel it is important because you will learn that the future of healthcare does not, I feel, lie only in technology coming out of Europe or America. I feel that Africans, both in the diaspora and in Africa, are also part of this conversation. Take for instance Samuel Achilefu. He is a doctor and also a professor of medicine in America. And he has developed cancer visualizing goggles. So now, no longer will surgeons operating on the cancer patient with the tumor have to guess the size of the tumor to take out. While they go in for surgery, using Dr. Achilefu's pair of goggles, they can actually see the exact size of the tumor cells and they can take out the size they need to take out because if you take out the wrong size, guess what? The cancer spreads aggressively. So this invention saves lives. Also, you'll hear from Dr. Okon, who has a very innovative, innovative diagnostic kit that will predict cancer medication resistance. This will also save millions of lives. So coming to this summit will expose you to cutting edge technology coming out from the West, but also innovations coming out right from here in the homeland, with people in the homeland and people in the diaspora that are leading this and, and, and making strides in healthcare technology. Thank you.